Today's video is sponsored by Relic Wood. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end to see how you can win one of these decorative handmade boxes for yourself for free. What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button over there and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to be looking at a sticky inflator and we're going to be talking about some of the causes of it. And I'm going to show you not only how to clean it and how to fix it, but also how to prevent it as well. But make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because we're going to be doing our first free giveaway of 2021. And it's a very simple process to get entered in for this giveaway. So make sure you watch to the very end as well well. So typically with an inflator, one of the most common issues we see, of course, are sticky inflators. This is why during your open water program, you're taught how to disconnect the low pressure hose underwater to prevent a sticky inflator from causing uh, an uncontrolled ascent. With a sticky inflator, they are very easy to fix. We simply take a spring out, put a spring back in, or we'll rebuild it when it comes time to be rebuilt. But it's more importantly that we prevent that sticky inflator from ever happening, and that's what today's video is going to be all about. Now, typically with an inflator, you're going to have a spring that is directly behind the inflator button itself, and we want to keep that spring good and lubricated. Now, there's two ways to do this. One, take it to a gear technician, and he's going to tear it apart, charge you a pretty hefty price for his little golden screwdriver to go in there and fix that. But what I'm going to show you today is a very simple, easy fix, and all it takes, of course, is removing this coupling here. Now, I've already got mine loosened, but you want to make sure that you use the proper size wrench to loosen that from the housing itself. Once it's out, you want to get you some silicone grease or lubricant. This here is from XS Scuba. Of course, you can get it from Trident, and just about all dive shops should carry some type of silicone grease. Next, you want to take a good size dollop there. You want to be very, very liberal with this. And you just want to fill up that inflator itself or the little coupling itself until it's completely full. When you think you've got it full enough, actually put a little bit more in it. Once you do that, you're going to simply screw it back into place. And here I want to caution you very carefully with because you're screwing a metal coupling into a plastic housing. And if you're not careful, you will either one, strip out the threads, or two, you'll crack the housing. Either way, that inflator is rendered use, you know, useless at that point, so you want to be very careful. If you want to know more about learning how to not necessarily repair this, but to keep it in good working order, check out the SSI Equipment Techniques course. That's where we actually go over and show you how to change a few O-rings here or there and to keep everything nice and cleaned out and serviced the way it should be. With that being said, check out the link below if you're interested in the SSI Equipment Techniques course. Course. All you got to do is click the link, take the course, do your online exam, and of course you can earn a certification from it. The great thing about this course, it's one that an instructor doesn't even have to be present for. But I'm going to screw this back in and then I'm going to get it seated. And when you seat it, you want to make sure that you use the proper size wrench. And once again, just give it just a little bit of love and tender love and care. Don't really tighten it down too much. Basically hand tight's all you need because you will strip out the threads or crack the housing if you're not careful. Now that we got the coupling reinstalled, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and hook up a cylinder with a first stage and a low pressure hose and you're just going to take the low pressure hose and go ahead and connect it to that coupling there and then you're going to simply inflate the BCD. Now not only does this make sure that your BCD is in proper working order and you're checking for leaks as well but it also takes that silicone that we put in there and it forcefully spreads it out through the inflator. This is going to make sure that you're going to prevent any corrosion by thoroughly coating the inside of the inflator with a nice uh, dollop of silicone. Also, you can listen to see if there's any leaks. If there's not, then you've successfully prevented any corrosion from occurring by putting that silicone in there. The last step, of course, is make sure you properly store your system. Now, we like to use BCD hangers, and we hang it in cool, dry places. But wherever you store your gear, you want to make sure that nothing can damage this, and also try to keep it where you don't get bugs and spiders and things like that in there. Speaking of storage, this is a great segue for today's sponsor, which is Relic Wood. Relic Wood is a family-ran American company. Cool thing about Relic Wood is not only do they design, but they also manufacture handmade custom storage boxes. All you got to do is simply go to their website, create an account. It'll make your purchasing a lot smoother and simpler. Once you've created an account, go through their boxes, see what you like. They've got custom boxes for law enforcement, police, fire, EMS, military. They've also got 
uh, boxes for anybody from fishermen to hunters, even scuba divers themselves. They can custom make a box for you for whatever you need. These make great gifts to give friends and families for birthdays or weddings, anything like that. Pick a box, customize it, and then add it to your cart and make your purchase. Relic Wood is an awesome gift to give a family member or a loved one for their special day. So there you go guys, that's a simple and quick way to prolong the life of your inflator and it's a very simple trick that you can do at home without having to go and see a gear technician. So at the beginning of the video I talked about giving away one of these free relic wood boxes and we consider our channel an educational channel. So kind of a contest to you guys, we're going to ask you a diving physics or an educational question and we want to see what your answers to the question are. Now this is going to be both in metric and imperial, so you're going to have to answer it both on the metric side and the Imperial side. We're gonna pull all the correct answers and then we will pull one name at random from that pool of correct answers and that will be the winner. We will be announcing the winner in a future video. If you happen to be the winner, not only will we give you a shout out, we'll ask you to send us some contact information or at least a shipping address for us and we will ship you one of these boxes free of charge. So what is the trivia question for this contest? Well, here you go. A 600 kilogram, 1,350 pound cement block lies in 19 meters or 63 feet of fresh water. The block displaces exactly 300 liters or 11 cubic feet of water. To move the block off the bottom, what is the minimum amount of water that must be displaced from a lifting device? So at the end of the video, I want to say thank you again to our sponsors at Relic Wood. You guys are awesome. I know you're local to us, but you've got a great outreach as well. And you make some absolutely wonderful boxes. I know whoever wins one of ours are going to be very, very excited to have it. And guys, make sure you go to their website, check them out. All you've got to do is just click, pick what box you want. You can even contact them directly and have a custom box made for you as well. But thanks again to Relic Wood for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I really hope you participate in today's trivia question. Simply answer it down below your name will be entered in to win one of these boxes. If you like these physics related videos, check out our playlist on diving physics. And there's a slew of videos in there that are very educational and will help you, especially if you decide to go pro or even down the tech route. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. Give me a huge thumbs up if you will. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.